okay, why don't I just leave and disappear for a couple of months, right? So yeah, I'm back, it's been a while. Stick around until the end of the video because I'm gonna tell you how to win signed Harmony of Hardcore CDs. We'll get back to that later. Anyway, so yeah, I've been kind of stressed out lately and when I feel stressed, I'm not good at turning on the camera and I can't, you know, bring myself to string together an interesting video. Fortunately now, um, some results are starting to show up um, most notably now the anthem for Harmony of Hardcore and the CD mix I did for them. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that. But when Harmony of Hardcore approached me about the anthem, they had this thing going on, the theme would be orchestra. Their tagline was the orchestra of the ultimate hardcore feeling. Obviously it's a theme that I feel I can work with and I started out with sort of a mental sketch pad. What kind of track was I going to make? How was it going to link into the, to the theme? and how is it going to be an anthem but still you know an anthem has a certain certain sound it has to have a wider appeal often my tracks are kind of for a specific audience so with all this in mind i started working on a, a, a classical concept i listened to a lot of classical music tried to figure out how it would sound if if i did it and how it would translate into a hardcore track one of the first things I came up with was the uh, choir that you can hear in the intro and the outro of the track. And I messed around with that a bit, just put down a sketch that was basically just the vowels in the, in the chords. And after that I actually decided to scrap the, uh, the idea and I started over. This time I sat down and wrote what eventually would be the break of the final track. I wrote a part that was influenced by the classic sounds I was listening and Actually, you can hear that if you have the extended version of the track, the right at the end, there's a little piano bit. That was actually the, the original idea. So I turned that into the breakdown, started layering some synths, tried to figure out how it would work with a modern sounding melody on top of it. And actually what happened is I decided to bring back the, the original choir idea as well and combine the two. I brought in a friend of mine, Mirta from Based, who you might know from bands like Magion or Scenario 2. And I had her sing a couple of layers for the choir to fill it out and make it sound more realistic. And then gave her uh, some time to freestyle over the break. And it turned into this semi-opera-like high voice that I layered in. And that worked really well, I was really happy with that. Another thing that um, was really important to me is I wanted to sneak in elements of, of orchestral sound. So for instance, all the screeches and little effect sounds you hear in the in what we now call the mid-intro, they're all made of violins. I got hold of a recording of like people just making noises with violins, scraping the strings and all kinds of stuff, and I turned it into the, the screeches and the alarm sounds as well, and all those sounds were based on violin recordings. And um, I wasn't sure people would notice, it was more a kind of a subliminal feeling thing. But actually, as soon as the track was released, a couple of people said, hey, are those violin sounds I hear in the track? And it was really cool for me to see that people were picking up on these kind of little, like, Easter eggs. After the breakdown, the choir came together and the kicks worked out, um, built the synth melodies, and then the tracks, yeah, it sort of um, fell together relatively quickly for, for my uh, way of working talked to the guys at Harmony, they liked it. We made it a little more festival friendly, just tweaked it a bit, added a couple of extra elements to make it more appealing to the festival kind of crowd. But that was it. Made a shorter version for, for online and um, the orchestral version sort of happened by itself because we needed a background kind of version without the kick drums and yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting to, to add that to the release. Usually uh, I keep those kind of versions for Synthapella uploads on my channel or something like that. But anyway, you guys got it right away now, which is cool. The next thing that happened was the, the mix I did for the CD. Um, it's a double CD. In fact, only the first CD is my mix. And it was pretty cool to, um, to make a track list. Uh, I haven't been in the position to um, do this kind of mix uh, lately. I thought it was a really cool occasion to scrape together a number of tracks that were maybe not like super straightforward but still could fit together in a cool mix and introduce people to new scenes and new artists as well as showcasing some of my own new material i took tracks from soundcloud like japanese artists that aren't too well known over here 
and added some unreleased stuff from the player album. Uh, his collab with Promo, his collab with me. Took the last challenge from my YouTube channel and, and all kinds of new releases from Dogfight, Third Movement, Enzyme. And I think it turned into a, to a pretty cool mix. Um, I'm, I'm quite happy with it myself. I had to cut a couple of tracks, unfortunately, because I had a maximum of 24 for the CD. But I think it's still, uh, still a cool spectrum of different kind of sounds that uh, I hope you guys like. So I have a couple of extra copies of these CDs and I'm gonna give them away to you and like a good little influencer I'll try to spread it out over different social medias I'll give one away on YouTube, one Facebook, one Instagram and one Twitter, why not? Um, all I want you to do to win this CD is go into the comments and tell me what your favorite track is from my mix CD1 of the Harmony Hardcore CD 2019 uh, tell me what your favorite track is, tell me why if you want, and I'll randomly pick from the answers. And if I pick you, you'll get one of these CDs, and I'll sign it to make it more special. That was it for now. Um, I hope it won't take this long next time when I get back to doing some more videos. I have a lot more interesting stuff coming out really soon. A couple of months of hard work have, uh, have paid off, and I'm excited to show you some new stuff. Like for instance, this thing. Final. Okay, see you guys soon at a festival this summer or in the next video. And I hope to see you at um, Harmony this weekend because uh, I'm playing the main stage and we're also going to do something special. So I hope to see you there. Okay, see you soon.